constituents. The election quagmire engulfing the country at this particular point seems to be escalating by the day. Just a week to the October 26th fresh election, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has received a major blow amid massive pressure to deliver credible elections this time round. Rosalyn Akombe, one of the senior IBC commissioners and probably chairman of Fula Chebukati, is confident threw in the towel while in the United States. Of counties, the candidate has attained at least 25. In her resignation letter, Akombe emotionally mentions that lives were at stake because the commission has become partisan and is under siege. Commissioner Akombe accuses most of the commissioners of being keen to have an election even if it is at the cost of the lives of staff members and voters. How have you handled that and how, what mechanism? You know, I've been agonizing for months now about my role at the commission and uh, my effectiveness at the commission and my safety actually and security. And I reached a decision after visiting four counties across the country and seeing my staff, I realized that we are in a difficult situation as a country preparing for an election. And I have to defend those positions even when I didn't believe in them. You are aware that uh, nine days before the last election, our manager in charge of uh, ICT, Communication Christmas, and was brutally murdered. That has never been resolved. Yes, my brother had to flee the country because he was getting a lot of threats. I was getting threats. I have never felt uh, the kind of fear that I felt in my own country. I have traveled around the world. I have lived in various countries. So if you get such messages and you've seen your own staff get that and, and be murdered, you will really be suicidal to think that nothing would happen to you. It is to conduct an election. Yes, the commission can hold an election. Would it be a credible election? Absolutely not. These are very highly likelihood that the mistakes that some of the presiding officers made during the last election will be repeated. If you are dealing with an election in which at least half of the country is not going to be participating in, could you consider that, that the environment for having credible election exists? It is not. In her statement, Akombe says, and I quote, we need just a few men and women of integrity to stand up and say that we cannot proceed with the election on 26th of October 2017 as currently planned, end of quote. She was the chairperson of the election operations committee of the commission when, where she worked diligently and was driven by no other purpose other than the love for her country and wanting to see democracy thrive in Kenya. She's one of our finest brains, and it's very sad that we could not provide an environment for such minds to find full expression of their work without fear of their lives. However, what really are the implications of Akombe's resignation? According to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Act, the position of a commissioner shall be declared vacant if the commissioner dies, the commissioner resigns in writing and addresses notice to the president, or the commissioner is removed from office under scenarios stipulated in Article 251 and Chapter 6 of the Constitution, which include violation of the Constitution, gross misconduct, or bankruptcy. What follows the declaration of a vacant office within IBC is the president publishing a notice of vacancy in a period of seven days and thereafter an immediate recruitment of a new commissioner. Achia Indegwa for Ebru TV. <laughs> you are not a